Hey folks, Landstrader here. Welcome back to episode 3 in my regrowth series. This pack's available on the Feed the Beast launcher. So today, I'm working with seeds more. Uh, I'm going to get some quests done. I'm not going to show you too much, but there is um, one part of the process I didn't, uh, well, I didn't do during the last one. I'm just going to show you that real quick. So when I got a generation done, I usually go and identify them first. So I got to do that. Go identify these pumpkin seeds. I'm not sure what generation this is. I think it's three or four. Let's see what we're up to. Yeah, we're up to four around. Yes, yeah, so this may only be actually the third generation of the pumpkin seeds. There we go. So I usually identify them first. I'm not sure why. I just I like to see what my numbers are and keep a keep track of it. Then I will pull all the one, the, uh, the previous generation. I'll pull them up. Um, it looks like I've got a bunch of that same growth size there. So any of these better? These better? This one right here is better. So well, sort of. It's got a two for strength. This one's got a three for strength, but it's got two fives. I'm gonna go with that one instead. And I'm gonna get rid of these old, these other four that I just picked up. So there they go. And uh, getting a good amount of compost build up because I've been throwing all my extra seeds in here, and I've been throwing all of my extra crops that I've been getting off of these as I've been going through. You see I got rid of the rows because I was just tired of waiting and I'm doing nothing but uh, the four parent method now. So once I've gotten rid of the previous generation, throwing them into the compost bin, I will come back over here and start planting the seeds. Now I have noticed a little bug with um, inventory tweaks not wanting to to uh, refresh the uh, seed, the next seed on your bar. Uh, you may or may not have this problem, but if you do, one of the things you can do is you can just right-click Torch or some other thing nearby, and uh, that magically makes the seed go onto the bar. I have no idea why or what the bug is about, but there's a little workaround for you guys. So, uh, and then one final thing about this four-parent method. There is another way to do it. You know, I, I get four seeds per generation, and then I get rid of the old four seeds, um, there's another way you could do it, but it's a little more it's, it's a little more labor intensive and it's probably better once you actually have a good uh, supply of fertilizers uh, because then you would um, you would take that seed that you just pulled out of there, go identify it uh, and then you come back and replace your lowest quality seed with that new one. So instead of doing um, you know four four seeds per generation, you every every seed that comes up you replace your weakest link and then the next seed that is uh the next seed that comes up should be a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better so so there we go i'm uh working on getting my generations up i am pretty close i might be close to this, uh getting the top tier of the belladonna here pretty soon that's that one's the farthest along i think and but I want to work on some new seeds. So, and some, some quests. Let's get into the quests. So what the world came to be. Um, I think I can complete some quests here. I I have some bad news. I was really, really, really hoping to get through this series without no deaths. Um, I, like a silly head, um, decided to go out in the morning, as soon as the sun came up, uh, go out my door and go... Looking for, uh, wanted to go break some, some grass and get some wood because I was running out of wood. And as soon as I got around this corner, hopefully there's no mobs out here right now. As soon as I got around this corner, there was a creeper right there. Instead of just running when I heard the hiss, I turned to try and swing at it and it blew up in my face and killed me because I had no armor on. Well, other than that, then those leather boots and those aren't much on me at all. So, so I have one death now if we're looking here. Uh, whoop, uh, where is it? One death. I've died from explosion. Sad face. Sad face. Uh, so there goes my uh, perfect record, but I still have the goal of of not having more than three deaths, but by the end of the series. So we can still work on work towards that. So I've added some more chests in here. I've got chests now for for food crops. Not much in there right now because I've been throwing almost everything into the composting bin. Made a chest over here for Batania flowers and Batania stuff. Got quite a few. I got really lucky with the pasture seeds uh, when I was out. 
hunting, I was really looking for the floral fertilizer because I used up all that I had, and these are the flowers that I got. And you see, I only got one of these white mystical flowers. I need two of those for my quest. And this chest is for witchery stuff. Uh, yeah, so let's work towards getting some of these quests done. And we'll work on some other things before the end of the episode, too. I think try to get some better organization, if we can get that far. Uh, I want to get this flowering quest. So it says I need two mystical white flowers. I've got the one, and I've got five more floral fertilizers. Let's hope that I can get lucky. And I tell you what, them, them wolves are really scary. I had one spawn inside my house, even with it all lit up. So they are, they are nasty, and they are vicious and... Ah, oh, look at that. Lucky, lucky. Got me my white flower right off the bat. Um, so yeah, those wolves are nasty. Um, I did manage to get rid of it without dying again. I thought I was going to end up with having two deaths. Oh, look. One more white flower. That's nice. Okay. So I should be able to clean, claim this reward. It's going to give me some more bone meal. That's excellent. And more floral fertilizer. To get more flowers yet. But let's uh, back up for a moment. It says, Growing Knowledge. I need to make a Lexicon Batania. That should not be difficult at all. That uh, is just a piece of paper combined with any flour in this mod pack. So I need to make some paper. I've got plenty of sugar cane. And I'll just get a, a few bits of paper. Combine that with... Um, what kind of flour do I think I really don't need here? I got, got the full bunch of flowers. I really I doubt I'll need pink anytime soon. Put the rest of those away. And combine it with the pink, I'm gonna get my Lexicon Batania. And first time you open this you're gonna get an accomplishment. So here we go. Some fireworks. Always fun at night. Especially fun at night. Um but let's move right along because I wanna get some things oh I can claim that I'm gonna get some more for floral fertilizer. So I'm going to be able to grow a bunch of flowers to be able to to make some things here in a minute. So, but before I can complete all these, I need to do some mutation. The mutation is a witchery thing. Uh, so I need to make some mutandas. I've turned down I've turned down the uh, mob noise. I hope it's down low enough. Those those wolves make a lot of noise. I really don't have a lot of control over that. Wow, look at all those mobs out there. Uh, there is one other thing that I want to work towards while I'm doing all this. So one of the thing, one of the seeds that I want to get is I want to get cactus for a couple of reasons. I want the cactus so I can get so I can have cactus green without having to uh, use up my floral my my flowers my green flowers, and I want to have cactus so I can use that in order to craft some things some weapons. Um. So it's just sugarcane and wait, sugarcane and a red poppy. So a red poppy, and then it would grow on sand. A red poppy I can get by crossing some sugarcane and a pumpkin, but it has to be on garden soil. So the poppy seed will only grow on garden soil. Well, it just so happens I have an Ender Mini inside my place. Well, they're usually friendly as long as you don't hit them. So I always won't, I won't go hitting them. I just happen to have sugarcane, and pumpkins right beside each other. Kind of a coincidence. I didn't really do that on purpose, but there we go. I'm going to grab my compost, dig up this piece of dirt, and combine it with a compost will give me a garden soil. Cool. I'll put that there. Now the poppy, if we, if we go back and look, will grow on untilled garden soil. So I don't want to till it. Because if you till a garden soil... You can't untill it. Even when you break it and pick it up, it still stays tilled. And you move it around, it stays tilled. Um, I think there's supposed to be a bug fix coming for that in the next version, probably. But uh, this pumpkin's not even fully grown. So in order to get this moving along, I'm gonna go ahead and use a bone meal. Much as I, much as I hate to use my bone meal, <laughs> um, but that's what it's for. That's what it's for is to to get things moving along. So there we go. Now I've got a cross crop between a pumpkin and a a uh, sugarcane, and I should, in a little bit, have a poppy, or a chance at a poppy, anyway. Wow, that one really went fast. Really sprouted right away. 
Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's that. I'm going to let that work. Let that stew, as it were, and then get back in here to the quest. So, mutation quest. I need to make some mutandus. So, that recipe is also, of course, changed in this pack. Mutandus. I need some, some kind of green dye, some bone meal, some wood ash, and some mandrake root. Well, I think I got all that covered except for maybe the green dye. There's a couple of options I can use for that. Um, if I had the cactus, which that's a little ways off, so I'm not going to rely on that just yet. If I had the cactus, I could use that. But I have plenty of mandrake root, plenty of wood ash that I got while I was out collecting resources. And I could potentially use a green flower. I don't even have a green flower. Well, there is some, another uh, alterna alternative, if we look at this stuff right here. This eelgrass, found growing underwater. Um, cactus green dye can be made from this grass. So how do I make a cactus green? This? Do I just put it in there? I do. There we go. I got a cactus green. Well, I'm going to want to go swimming around and getting some more. It's still night right, time, right, right now. So I got a little bit of time before I feel safe to go out out that door and to, to that side. There's probably some mobs over there. Um, so while I'm waiting, I can grab my glass and uh, I take my sticks or my, my, de my wood here. Hopefully this works with this kind of wood. It does. There we go. I can make myself some glass lenses. I need two of these. And now that I have sugarcane reeds, I can go ahead and make these things right here, a snorkel. Now it's going to give me a book, too, that I need later for a quest at some point. So I'll just uh, need to make a bookshelf soon. I wonder if I can do that. I wonder if I can make a bookshelf right now. Probably can. If I do this and what is it like this? No. Let me, well, actually, I probably need to turn this, convert this into some actual planks. Yeah. Uh, nope, need a couple more. There we go. And might as well get the last one. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I need six. And if I do that and this, there we go, a bookshelf. Cool. Now I have a place to store all my knowledge. I'll put it on top of the furnace because that makes sense because it won't burn the books up or nothing. <laughs> now I can put that in there. Cool. Uh, and that's actually going to, that's probably pre-completing a quest someplace else. Yes, what the world teaches. Because I got a book. It actually asked me to make a, oh well, there I am. I made a bookcase. Now it's asking me to make a book binder, uh, which actually wouldn't be a bad idea. Getting a little sidetracked here, but I have time to kill before the sun comes up. So a book binder right here. Two paper, two string. Pretty sure I've got that. I've got some string. Don't got a lot of string. I'm going to want to get some method of making string as soon as possible. That's going to give me a book binder. So that should complete me a quest. And it's going to give me a bunch of books and some experience drops. Um, not overly useful right now. I think I'm going to store my experience in the witchery chest because I don't have a ton of items that are going, to be going in there right off the bat. So it's probably going to have space in it for now. And I'm going to take and throw all this rotten flesh that I got because I can compost that. I'm going to go ahead and compost that for some more some more compost because I'm going to need a lot of garden soil. Um, it's, I don't know. What, are the, what is it? 7 times 7? So each one of these is 49 uh, blocks of you know not counting the, the water but eventually that's going to get replaced by a, a soil as well so yeah 49 and probably six of those will end up being garden soil so or at least at least five of them will end up being fully garden garden soil of some kind so yeah that's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of, of uh, compost that i'm going to need before it's all said and done so um I uh, made my snorkel. I should probably put it on before I forget. So what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to stay underwater for a relative, uh, what, well, what, what would probably consider, be considered a normal amount of time. I hear a wolf. Is he out here? Is he, no, I don't see him. I don't see him here. So here we go. 
I can get that stuff right there. Eelgrass. Did I get it? Yes, I did. And that is the right stuff. Excellent. I didn't even have to go underwater for that. So now I'll come back in here. I've got my other piece for the cactus green. Cactus green. Mandrake root. And then, uh, yeah, bone meal in the middle. And then the other thing I needed was wood ash, which is a witchery <laughs> item. So it should have, oh, it's in my inventory. I picked it up already. There it is. Cactus, or wood ash. And gives me my mutandus. And I should be able to turn in another quest. The world came, there we go. And I am definitely going to take the mutandus. Because this other stuff is relatively easy to get. Especially as I get further along uh, with my gardening and 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 uh, eventually when I have armor or my, maybe you can make a mob trap to get the bone meal and the fertil floral fertilizer is not really hard to make either. So mutandus is definitely probably what you want to get. Terror pick pick for that. Um, the other thing I need to do next is get my bone meal back out of my crafting grid. So I'm gonna need that. Uh, put these extra books away. Book binder, I'm actually going to put on the shelf. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put my lexicon on the shelf for now. And put away that stuff. Alright, out here to my grass patch where I'm going to bone meal it and get a bunch of plants and stuff. Uh, because of the, the extra biomes XL you will get a lot of these uh, flowers that you may have never seen before. That's also a bit of an issue when it comes to using the mutandus. So I need to use the mutandus to get saplings. Well, there's a, a sapling. It's not the sapling I was looking for. Sakura, but I'll take it. Okay, blue orchid, definitely not. Don't need that. Don't need that. Ah, uh, another Sakura. I'll take that, but it's really not what I'm looking for. It's not the kind of wood I want. What is that? An, an acacia sapling, but it's an extra, extra biomes acacia. So I don't, don't know how that one. Mushroom. I will take that mushroom because I can use that. There we go. There's a normal sapling. That's what I was looking for. Some, at least some kind of normal sapling. Snapdragons. Oh, no, I want that. I want that. Umber Autumn Sapling. I have no idea what that would look like. And another Sakura. And a Maple. Okay. I don't know if... I, don't, I, hope, I hope a few of these count. So there we go. Yes, use Sap. <laughs> so I it, it did count enough of those saplings in order to get me this completion. And now I can select one of these specific vanilla saplings that I want. I tend to like the spruce for a couple of reasons. I like the way the wood looks, plus it also has the ability to grow in a two by two and make, make really big trees that uh, you get a lot of wood from. I'm going to go with that. Um, as I get more mutandus or I create more mutandus, I can easily keep working on trying to mutate things and getting more saplings, but I have quite a, actually quite a selection of trees now that I could grow and see what they look like as far as the wood and stuff. So I might, I might do that. Um, gosh, I really don't need these flowers or anything. And I can break uh, this grass for another for chances at getting like seeds and, and bone meal and uh, floral fertilizer. Um, I guess I'll break these for now. Maybe put them in with the uh, witchery stuff or something. I don't know. I uh, will probably, if I can, if, with the diversity of flowers and plants and stuff, I probably need another chest just for that stuff. I'll just put it all in there for now. Uh, and these two belladonna seeds that I just got that are unidentified, those are going to be one on one, so I don't want those. And I'll just put them in there. I wonder if I can put the, no, I cannot put the flowers from <laughs> Biomes XL in there. That would actually have been useful. Uh, yeah. Put this sugar cane away. All right, so there we go. We got that one done. Next one is to create a flower thing. Okay, so we need to get in some to some botania, and that's going to require making a petal apothecary first. So we need some cobblestone. 
pull that stuff out of there. Gonna need some slabs. We're also gonna need a petal from one of the flowers. <laughs> so I'm pick a flower that I don't think I need a bunch of. Well, I obviously need to save my white ones. Probably don't need the cyan so much right now. You know, I think I threw the wrong two belladonna seeds away. Oh well. They're easy to kill again. There we go. Like that, and then to complete it, we need a petal. There we go. And I got a random petal left over. All right, so there we go. I got my petal apothecary. Now I need to set up a place to do some Batania crafting. So I think that's actually going to be... You can see over here where I've got these bits of cobblestone and stuff laid out. I was kind of trying to visualize my final setup for Batania stuff, which is what all that was. Is I wanted to make sure I had enough space, and I definitely, definitely have the space to do this, no problem. And maybe I should actually just... Um, Maybe I should just put this in here for now. Problem is, I need a, uh, I need some water, and it'd be nice to have a, um, a water source. So what if I do? I'll just come out here, do one of these numbers, and grab some water. Did I do that right? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. And then just go like so. There we go. Now I have a uh, permanent water source here. I can start doing some, some Batania stuff. Okay, so that seed that I have on that on my inventory, so don't accidentally use it because that's a developed seed, and these ones here are just one on one, so I don't care about losing using those up. I'm going to take some mystical white petals. I'm going to chuck four of them in there and follow that up with a basic seed which is going to give me the pure daisy now it should complete this quest is it no i actually have to get the living wood and living rock okay well let me see here if my batania stuff is over that way and i do i'm, I'm thinking here because i want to have a automatic creation of of stuff so I'm gonna make sure I need to be able to get behind it one two three two so yeah flower should go right there and then this may may or may not be my permanent plan I don't know I do need some dirt because you can only plant botania flowers on dirt or grass or maybe garden soil. I haven't tried garden soil. Probably can plant it on garden soil. There we go. So and now I gotta make some living rock and living wood, which is just basically put wood down or rock. It has to be uh, stone. Where's my stone? There we go. No, I no, I should have a half stack stone I got from Quest. So I don't have to cook any up just yet. And it takes about two minutes, I think, and this will become living rock. I'll be back in a second as that changes. There we go. It's changing over. And once it's changed, you just dig it up. And you got this material that's very, very vital to doing just about everything else in Batania, living rock. And, uh... I think what I'm going to do, well, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and put down my next set of stone so that starts to convert. And I went and switched the sapling to the spruce sapling because that's really what I want. So I hope I get lucky and I'm able to, I'm going to use some bone meal on it. And yeah, that's actually good. I got a good sized tree. Oh, this is a good time to mention one little minor change I made to the pack. Um, other than I've added fast craft, of course. Uh, there is one mod that I added, which is fast leaf decay. Um, just because I think it makes sense 
more sense than the way that leaves decay in vanilla Minecraft. It doesn't really change gameplay too much. It just makes it so I don't got to stand around for like forever waiting for leaves to decay. There you go. Leaves to decay. So if you're wondering why that happens on my, on my, in my uh, play, it doesn't happen in your game. It's because I added fast leaf decay. Very, uh, well, I really like that. Uh, that uh, effect mod. It's a mod by itself. Um, it also comes, there's also a mod called uh, random things that will do that for you. But I didn't do that. I just used the uh, the fast leaf decay. It doesn't do nothing but make leaves decay fast like that. And I didn't get lucky with that one. I didn't get no saplings at all. It doesn't change the, the chance for dropping saplings or anything else. So... It's really hard to get that first four saplings from spruce. Sometimes you'll break a, you know, you'll cut a spruce down, you won't get any saplings at all. And sometimes you only get one. It's very, it's um, almost unusual to get more than than two or three from one of these small ones. And I'm really using up all my bone meal. So I want to get it. I want to get it. Well, I need the wood anyway. So I don't. I think I have enough now that I could uh, complete the quest. There we go. Yes. Now that I have more than um, four spruce saplings, I can go ahead and plant them in this pattern. And when those grow, and I'm going to let them grow naturally. I'm not going to use up any more of my bone meal. I need that for other things. Uh, when those grow, it should make a very large tree with lots of leaves. Uh, occasionally, does, the large trees don't have a lot of leaves, but uh, one large tree with lots of leaves will make up for the other ones that don't don't have the uh, large amount of leaves. Excuse me. So, back over here, grab the rest of my living wood that I need for the quest turn in. And now that I have enough wood, I can start that process. So I'm going to go ahead and make this wood, and I'll be back in a minute to turn this quest in. Okay, I'm back for a moment to point out that, look, I've got poppies. All right, so now that gives me uh, rose red as the uh, crop. And now I can set up something, because what was I wanting? I wanted cactus. I'm trying to get a cactus seed. So I need sugar cane crossed with poppies, and it needs to be on top of... Does it have to be regular sand? Can it be red sand? It's not showing me red sand, so I'm gonna think that maybe it has to be, maybe that it has to be the regular sand. Good, good thing I actually have some of that in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put my poppy seed right there and plant, replant that, and then I'm gonna go get some normal sand. I have a, a few bits of it in here, so I might as well use it just to be safe. Uh, Actually, let me check something. So sand is uh, ID 12. This is 12.1. I bet it would work on red sand without a problem. And that's because I think it's only looking at the ID, not necessarily the meta. So there we go. And I need to, I want to kind of get this process accelerated, so I'm going to go ahead and use a bit of my bone meal to grow my property back up again. So... This time, instead of having you know the the plant the parents directly across from each other, I've got a parent at an angle and a parent at an angle, so that's going to allow me to attempt to do uh, attempt two separate um, crosses. So either one of these can should be able to come out as uh, as cactus. There is a small chance that it'll end up just being a sugarcane. This one actually here has three parents because it has sugarcane there, sugarcane there, and and poppies there. I might I might actually end up with a little bit of extra bonus if this one turns out to be cactus because it has the two sugarcane crops that are actually kind of advanced. So I can actually collect that seed, and I need to make some more crops. Um, go ahead and collect the last of my living wood over here, and that's going to be able to I'm going to be able to turn this quest in, and I have one more little quest thing that I want to do. I think before. I wrap up this episode. So let's come in here. Look at this. There we go. Quest rewarded. Oh, spider can walk over the walls. But I don't mind the spiders getting in here because that gives me string. Uh, 
what was I? Oh, yeah, I was about to turn this in. So I'm going to end up giving some pure daisy, some more floral fertilizer. I can either pick floral fertilizer, living rock, or living wood. Yeah, it, this this is... Uh, I think I'm actually going to go with the floral fertilizer because it's not that difficult to get to living wood and living rock, but this uses up some resources that I want to have available other places if I needed to make more floral fertilizer. And eventually I'm going to need tons of flowers, so this never hurts to have more floral fertilizer. So there we go. Put these other pure daisies away. I'll set that. I'll, uh, I'll arrange my area out there better once uh, in between episodes, maybe. And let me get back in here. Uh, and that opens up a few more things. We'll we'll get into that stuff in the next episode. But before I do that, there's something else I want to do. This episode, I think it's what the world embraces. Yes, right here. It's a super crafting frame. So to make a super crafting frame, you just take a crafting table, which you need to. There we go. Crafting table. And surround that crafting table with sticks. You've got plenty of sticks, and you get a super crafting frame. Excellent. That's going to complete this quest, and it's actually going to end up giving me four more super crafting frames. Awesome. And the reason I want these is because one of the things I'm making all the time, constantly making, is the uh, the crops. All right. So. I'm going to make myself a chest, right? I'm going to take all these sticks that I got from from uh, when I went out hunting, chopping wood and stuff. Take all those. Is there a few more in there? Yeah, there's a few more in there. I might even end up making some more sticks with all this uh, extra dead wood that I got now, now that I actually have some regular wood. All right, and then I'm going to put my chest down right here. And throw all my sticks inside. Oh, I need a, I need at least one stick in order to be able to set the crafting frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this. I'm going to hold shift, put this on that container, and then I'm going to do this number right here. There we go. So now all I've got to do is come up and right click that, and it gives me four sticks. If I shift right click it, it'll give me a stack of of sticks. So now anytime I need sticks, I can just walk up here, click that, get me some, some or sorry, crops. I meant to say crops in the first place. So now anytime I need some crops, I just walk up, right click, gives me four crops, I can go do what I need to do. Okay, over here, what happened? We've got sugar cane, that's not what I want, and sugar cane, also not what I want. So try again. Try again for the cross breed there. That should be the one that was uh, extra. Uh, so yeah, I think that's going to be about it. I kind of wanted to show you this thing growing into a full tree. Might not be... No, nah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to save my bone meal. I'm not going to... I'm going to resist the temptation to use it for that. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to take the rest of my deadwood and turn it all into sticks and just fill this up so that whenever I need crops, I can just come up here and click that. And that's pretty much all that chest is going to be for, is just holding sticks and making crops. Um, and then I've got some other super crafting frames that I can use to set up some other really um, nice thing. You know, anytime, anything that you, you have to craft a lot, you know, or continuously or all the time, uh, you can set up a super crafting frame for it. It doesn't have to be on an inventory, but if you place it on an inventory, it can use the stuff that's inside the inventory to craft the thing. Um, and you can actually change that. No, I didn't, I, I didn't mean to make a stack. Whoops. Um, was it shift, shift the left Shift left click will reopen this interface right there. You can see it says player and inventory. You can have it say only take stuff out of the inventory, only take stuff out of the player's interface. But you know, I just use leave it on that that way. Um, well, I won't need to get crops again for a little bit because uh, <laughs> I have a stack and a few. So anyway, I think that's where I'm going to wrap this up, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. Be sure and leave a like, comment, thumbs up. You know, I've got to get some some barrels. Maybe next episode. I'm pretty sure I've used up my 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. So until next time, I will catch you later.